After surface mount assembly is completed, the PCBs undergo through-hole assembly to solder through-hole parts. Depending on the design, the boards may be removed from the panel and installed into special wave soldering fixtures that shield other components. Technicians begin by inserting the through-hole components into their designated holes on the PCB according to design requirements. Each technician is responsible for inserting one or two components to reduce the margin for error. An AOI machine and operator then inspect the boards to verify correct placement before going into the wave soldering machine. Wave soldering is an efficient method for soldering a large quantity of through-hole components. Inside the wave soldering machine, a large volume of solder is heated above its melting point to form a continuous solder wave. As the PCB passes over the molten wave, solder fills the plated holes to form strong solder joints. Another AOI machine inspects the solder joints for defects such as pseudo-soldering, solder bridges, and opens which are then rectified by technicians. This is an important step in verifying the quality of the assemblies. Selective wave soldering can be used to solder components not suited for wave or reflow soldering. The solder wave tip is programmed to solder specific joints and avoid others. This specificity is especially useful for mixed technology boards. After soldering, a high-pressure dry ice spray is used to clean off flux residue and impurities. After all components are assembled, functional testing is performed as per the client's requirements. This completes the through-hole assembly process. HQ Next PCB also supports IC programming, conformal coding, and laser marking. To discover more about Next PCB's PCB assembly services, visit our website at nextpcb.com or get in touch.